So imagine now we wanted to have a power-up mode of our princess, and to do that I would just duplicate uh, our princess and call this princess power-up. Go to edit sprite. She's got a nice slow jog there, and the quickest way to, would be just to go to animation and colorize, but I want to speed her up a little too. And so I'm going to go to animation stretch, which is not going to stretch the image, it's going to stretch the length of the animation uh, to be longer or shorter, not always longer. Um, so I'm going to cut that in half, which will effectively speed her up by two. And now I'm going to go to Animation, Colorize, and I could have gone here from the beginning. And let's say I want her to jump to, yeah, that's a nice bright color. I'm colorblind, I really don't know. Now how many frames is that going to happen over? Um, the, l the higher the number here, the longer it's going to take for the animation to happen. And there you can see her going from this color to this, and then it jumps back to the beginning, which is a little awkward. And so if you want it to be a little smoother, you can add reverse to the end, which will then make it go back to the original color, which is a nice smooth transitioning color there. Um, and it's actually now back to its original speed since I cut it in half and then doubled it. Um, so that's an easy way <coughs> excuse me, to do that. Um, of course, you could always paint your own sprites and such, but... I like uh, editing existing sprites because I'm not that good of a drawer in 8-bit. For making backgrounds, similarly, let's call this BG Test 1. And if I'm going to make a simple grass or something, I'm pretty sure this is green, but I'm not sure. I like to set one color and then get a slight variation of it. And with the spray paint, um, if you ha you can drag this little slider here or put in numbers. Um, if you have the hardness all the way up, it's going to be pretty solid. If you drag this way down, it's going to get darker the more times you go over it. And so it's a little more natural looking look. So, oops, undo too many times. There we go. And there's my color. Get this brush and keep it pretty low. And I'm going to get a slightly larger brush and put in a few dots here kind of make it visually look a little different and now we'll essentially scribble there we go lovely oops sorry about that and there's our background of course and we're done with that one next uh, how to use that uh, background as a pattern if we look in our level two where we're going to put this background um, we choose our BG test, which it gets the list from over there. And if we tell it to stretch, it will take that one piece and just stretch it only all the way across. If we don't tell it to stretch, it will, um, we can tile it horizontally and vertically to fill it up. So either way you want to use it, uh, whichever looks best to you there. Um, this was a test I did earlier with a background animated that didn't look good. So there you go. Enjoy your background and sprite animating.